Well, okay, tubers, tubettes, various crazy people. <laughs> I'm here at Cafe Racer with my new friend, Lynn. And Lynn has come up from where? Davao? Davao. And you live about four hours outside of Davao. Yes. And so you have a YouTube channel, right? Yes, I do have guys, so check it out if you want. And uh, what's the name of your channel? Can you tell them? No. <laughs> Okay, my name of my channel is Reynaline Hainga, guys. That's so, that up, doesn't it? I mean, that tells you exactly what to expect. <laughs> <laughs> it's a game. <laughs> so you guys can check it out if you want. Okay, I'll put a link in for you. Um, now, you're the last person that I'm ever going to interview and promote a channel for. Whoa. Because the other ones backfired. <laughs> <laughs> But now I've known you for what, three days now? Yes. And so you're good people and I, I like your channel. Um, you watch? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. But I think it's um I think it's it's not doesn't have the right name. I think you should change the name. Because I saw on one of your videos you got a, you laid down and you let a snake massage you. Yes. So I think you should change the name to Kinky Lynn. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? Trust me, you'll get all kinds of hits. <laughs> really? Should I, I need to uh, take his advice, guys? Please comment below and let me know. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so, um, I'm interested in what brought you to Bill McGetty. You, know, you live in Davao. Yes. And you're doing YouTube. And I assume you're watching other YouTube channels, right? Mm, should I need to be honest? I hope, I hope so. Yes, uh, no. No, you're not watching the YouTube channel. Uh, I watch, but it's not really my thing. I mean, okay. I find it waste of time. Me too. <laughs> I, I, I do. I do. Yes, like, uh, I do have a lot of things to do than watching YouTube. Okay. So, uh, I found your channel through my uh, subscribers. They said that you guys, uh, you should check out Paul. It because Paul is uh, like your male version. You know, you guys have a, a same uh, personality. Yeah, we do. And yeah, I contacted you. But I started to, um, you know, uh, doing a collaborations to the other uh, YouTuber. Uh -huh. So I started like the, uh, my viewers is the one who gonna um, watch. They give me an information and. I do the rest. I contact with them. Okay, so that's so you went to Cebu mm -hmm. and you played with all the other kids for about three days, and then you came to do Maggetti, mm -hmm. and you've been here for about three days. So, what? We'll get into your background in a second, but what was your impression of Cebu, and what's your impression of do Maggetti? So I like it here in Maggetti. It because like you can uh, see it in one place. Like, I guess uh, it is, uh, if you're going to leave it here, it's like, if you don't have enough money, uh -huh. like, it less um, expenses. Less expensive than Cebu. Yeah, okay. unlike the Cebu. Cebu, like, you need to ride a taxi. If you're going to ride, like, if you're going to go to one place, you're going to, like, uh, one ride, two rides, you know. Right, you cannot right. just um, go in one ride. No, you know, that's great information. What, what's interesting to me is she got up here without any COVID test or nothing. I mean, I'm, I was I was thinking that I can't go anywhere because of all the COVID and whatnot. I can't get the story straight, but you got here no problem. Yeah, thanks so to my cousin. My cousin is the one who do the research. Did the research. And then where did they research so they know where to research and, and anybody else will? Like uh, through friends. Like oh, my cousin friends. live here for a uh, like... leave a bunch of phone numbers. <laughs> I thought there was a website or something. No, <laughs> oh, no, you more cheese okay, guys. You can. <laughs> <laughs> so, so like, if you want to know how to travel, just call a few of her friends. We'll leave the yes. phone numbers down below. Yeah, that's uh, good information. <laughs> they give you, uh, you know, a uh, crazy idea and informations. You know. The, the funny thing is, honest to God, guys, what she's telling you is true. If I want to know anything about anything, I hear it from somebody that's been there yes. and done that. Yes. And um, it's just, I call it the coconut grapevine, other people call it chismus. Um, it's just word of mouth. I mean, I find restaurants that way, I find out if I can go somewhere that way, I discover which has got the best deal and whatever. 
by word of mouth. It's still a very, yeah. very much of a village kind of attitude out here. Yes. At least in Dumaguete. And I'm assuming out in your province too. Yes. Now, you live four hours outside of the Val proper, correct? Yes. Is that about it? And you, do, you live on the ocean. And yes, I, uh, I live in a fishing vill village. You live in a fishing village, and you actually have a business where you're, you have fishermen working for you. Yes, I have like fish cage. Okay. And uh, two boats. Okay. And yeah, that's one, uh, one of my uh, small businesses okay. that I um, make some income to me. Uh -huh. So thanks to my viewers. Thanks to my subscribers, yeah. it, because I reinvest the money that they give it to me. Okay, so the beginning of it though, before YouTube, were you doing fishing? Um, my parents does, but I okay. kind of scared to invest of okay. it. Like for the fish cage, it's like it's um, it's like a gum gumball, you know? Because mm -hmm. if the fish cage will gonna be cut, you cannot make any more money of it and your money will gonna say bye bye okay but what i did before is i sell a jewelry you sell jewelry okay. yes that's on one of my sideline before and also like uh i do some chicken make some mingo float and let other uh, people uh credit it then they pay it uh one week you know they pay okay. it after one week but you weren't making enough money to really make any big moves doing that, no. correct? Correct, no. Okay, all right. So you were doing what a lot of people out here do, especially young women, is you'll have a little food stand. In this case, it was mango floats. And then you were selling a little bit of jewelry. And that's okay. You make 100 pesos here, 200 pesos there. But the serious money didn't happen until you started the YouTube channel. Is that correct? Or am, mm, I, am I mistaken? Like, uh, before YouTube is I am involved. To the Norwegian guy. Okay. So uh, yes, he supported me, okay. and also it because we have two kids, okay. and yes, and I reinvested with something too, like selling rice or making other people lend some money. Okay. And yeah, and uh, letting other people borrow some money, it's make money at first okay. until they don't pay. Yeah. <laughs> And that's caused trouble. Right. So, so I'm a little nervous on talking with a woman that gets massages with snakes and she's a loan shark. <laughs> I, by the way, but before that is I uh, I do I I'll do have uh, telling her I'm going to the bathroom, but I'm actually running for the scooter trying to no. make a quick getaway. <laughs> <laughs> no. What? But before that is I we owned um Tuna big boat, uh, tuna fishing. You and the, and, and the Norwegian guy? Yes, okay. we have it, but it doesn't uh, work good. It because I didn't manage it well. It okay. because I am poor. I live in the, um, I live in the city, and you know I just uh, let it there to oh. my um, sister. And yeah, uh, tuna fishing is not that good. It because it's a seasonal. Uh -huh. That's why, yeah. It doesn't say that it's really like uh, bankrupt. I can, I still make money. I get, I make some profit of it. It is just like I didn't focus that kind, uh, that business before. So you weren't focused. Yeah, you, I didn't I like focus. That. You kind of own it. You know, you own the fact that that you had a business, but you weren't involved enough. Is that what I'm hearing? Because mm. I see that happen a lot. Yeah. So I learned my lesson. Now yeah, I am well. pretty, you know, involved to any business that I'm, you know, I make it sure that I know in and out. And I kind of strict to the other people as well. Like, I mean, I can be their friends, but I didn't let them to abuse me. Okay, fair enough. So again, this, it's, you're 30 years old. You just, happy birthday, by the way. You just turned 30. 20 only. Mm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 20 plus 10 okay yeah I just had um, my birthday a few days ago yeah and so how long ago did you get hooked up with this Norwegian guy how long ago yeah. uh, 2009 I met 2009. him yeah and you were together for how long like seven seven years, years. wow yeah okay. so when he was here living with you right mm -hmm. and you guys had a couple of kids it's yes we have two we have two children and then you two parted company um but did he help you get started with the businesses and everything like that i mean was it was that how it went or no is that really it? like um we never had a problem if it comes to money he trusted me it because yeah. i don't do gambling and drinking right, right, so right. he just 
he just give me the money and then I just like you know like okay I'm gonna try to do this thing you know and he said that okay it's up to you you know as long as you will not you know you will not use it for gambling because gambling is one of his hate thing and also drinking which is I don't care because I'm not fun with it so yeah I, I am a type of woman that who just like to sit I like to do something that make me money okay. well since I was a kid I used to sell something like um, you know fruits mm -hmm. I you know I just like to make my own money okay so I think it's great that the fact that you have always wanted to make your own way. Yes. Uh, you admit that you made some mistakes and learned from them, because we all make mistakes. Everything falls flat. Um, but your fishing business, is that your primary source of income right now? Yes. Okay. And then you also bought some land. I think you told me that you bought yes, some yes, land. Yes, yes. I bought some. some boarding houses? Yes. Something like that, in, me in a few months. Okay. In Godsville. Okay. And so, what was the thing that that got you interested in the fishing? Was it um, was it because it was a parent's business, and were you able to take maybe some of the money that your boyfriend gave you and no. in that business, or how did that happen? No, uh, when I involved now in uh, the fishing. Uh, my, uh, my ex, my Norwegian guy, it's not involved. No oh, okay. money there already. Okay. It came from. Um, the um, from the donations that I make, I just reinvested, and one of my um, viewers trust me enough that do this thing. I said that you know it's a gambling. Okay. Maybe I'm gonna lose money with this. I said it's okay. It's not a. Uh, it's not. Um, it's not a big money anyway. If you're gonna lose, okay. If not, you know. Then I started to breathe to invest until I like the income. Mm -hmm. I save it and do some other investment. Okay. So if I can sum it up, from what I'm hearing correctly, is you had a couple of kids, you were with this guy, he didn't infuse you with a bunch of cash, but you started a YouTube channel. Yeah. And from the YouTube channel, you started to receive some donations. Am I yes, correct? I mean, my kids, they have their own money, and I received some allowance from him. he still before. supports them. So yes. He's a good guy. I mean, he's yes, it, part of he is. Yeah. He still, he it is different. just like our relationship, it's not working. It happens all the time. Yes. Trust me, you're not the only one. Um, <laughs> I'm not alone. No. <laughs> Fifty percent of the people married get divorced. Yes. So, you know, that's just life. But I'm, I'm just interested in the fact that what you did was kind of unique. And what caught my attention on our previous conversations was that when you received money, uh, you didn't go out and buy yourself a new gadget or a new thing. You went out and invested it in your business yes. and grew the business. And I don't want to put words in your mouth, but that's what I'm hearing from you. So you got that effective. And then you got some more money coming in and then you bought some land and all that. And I believe that also financed this little vacation of yours, right? Say it the, 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 your, your, your YouTube income financed your vacation. Right? Yes. But you don't have a great big channel. Yeah. Right? You have like 7,000 subscribers. Yes, right? and not a lot of views. And not, and not a lot of views. Yes. Okay. But you just have some people that really dig really. it. Really. I, um, you know, I am very thankful. They are, I get a good viewers, not just good, but a very generous one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's what I am proud to my channel. I maybe not have a big channel, not a lot of views, but I found a very loyal one. That's interesting. And I guess I consider myself as, you know, as a lucky one. Well, absolutely. You're absolutely a lot more successful than me because... No, no it's not. Of, no, no, you no, are. Let me, let me tell you. After people watch my videos, they tell me I owe them money for wasting their time. Really? Yeah. I don't feel that I'm way. I'm always having to send money to people because they watched my video and they said, hey, you wasted my time there for 30 minutes. I want my money. Mm. Yeah. I'm really? I'm kidding you. <laughs> <laughs> I almost believe that. You're crazy. <laughs> well, don't get sarcasm. One bit. <laughs> you crazy. <laughs> you, I almost believe I that. I could have kept crazy. that going for a half you're hour. You're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so what do you want to do with your channel? You, in your channel now, 
Um, let's talk about that a little bit. You kind of just show your life running around the province yeah. and, and doing different stuff, right? But now you're doing some interviews. Like you said, it was the first interview was with me. You yeah. interviewed me the other day. Yeah, that I... Was the very first time you interviewed me. Yes. And then I introduced you to Jen, and you did an interview with her. Yes. And so you're having fun with her. Yes, so, I am having fun with her. Yeah, yeah. And so what's... So all your experiences out here, you went to Cebu, you've come to Dumaguete, um, since you've been to both places, what's like the most memorable thing that you did? I mean, did you go snorkeling? Uh, mm. Did you go? Did you go to a fancy restaurant? Um, I mean, what's what's your most memorable memory going to be when you leave here tomorrow? And um, when Tom and Tom's kick out, kick us out <laughs> in, the, <laughs> in the restaurant. <laughs> We've been like even in Buscape, they ask us to stop. Uh -huh. Yeah, and, and in Tom and Tom, like we uh, cannot go there. Right. Anymore, that's why we are here. Yeah, yeah so, so that's been, on one. Since she came to town, I've been banned from two coffee shops. Oi, 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 it's your fault too, are you crazy? So, yes, that's on one of the memorable that, you know, I can tell that, you know, I'm having fun with it. Like, I'm having fun in uh, sardines, I'm having fun in canyoneering, but what we do is unforgettable. Unforgettable. Yes. Me too, it is. I don't think I'll ever sleep right again. Because I get nightmares thinking about her. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, I didn't, Tom Toms has now hired a bouncer to keep me out. <laughs> yeah. So watch my interview to Paul, guys. Yeah, you guys can interview. check it out. Like that's my first interview, so don't judge it. And yeah, we're just having fun. That's it. You know, so that's, that's all that matters. You know, either you're gonna like it or not. So it's not our, you know. So let me ask you this, you're going to go home tomorrow, you miss your kids. Yes, right? I miss my kids. Uh, you can stay here for a month, you say. If you yes, if I want to, I can still, uh, you know, I can still stay here for a month It because I receive a good donations uh -huh. and I, I receive a good uh, donations from my viewers. They are very generous to me. Uh -huh. You know, I can, I don't know how to say thank you for them, you I know. I think it's great, you know, I mean, people dig you for what you are and what you're doing. And I know for a fact, because you and I talked about this a little bit, you had one guy that sent you enough money to do, you know, a lot of stuff. Yes, but, I am very thankful. But it was a test. Inter I'm going to tell you an interesting story. You said, I think he was testing me, because he sent you, I don't know what the number was, but it was a substantial amount of money. Yeah. And she actually took the money, and I think this guy's like a philanthropist. I mean, I don't know who he is. <laughs> But, you know, a big donor, and he doesn't like giving to charity. He'd rather give directly to Yes, that's what he said when and, I asked him yeah. about it. He and doesn't so believe in charity. He gave her this a substantial amount of money, and she went out and you bought property or something. Yeah, not just once, but many times. That's the point. I mean, Did I sell my soul already to him? No, no, no. He's, um, your, he's your viewers. Oh, my God, we're in trouble. Viewers? Yeah, he <laughs> is. <laughs> he is. <laughs> <laughs> now we're in trouble. <laughs> So, anyway, okay. what this guy did was he sent her money, and well, I think he was watching. Okay? He is? And I'm gonna, I don't think yeah, he's interested. Yeah, yeah. He's watching what you're doing. Maybe he has a crush on me. Yeah, baby. <laughs> okay. We will yeah. not be kicked out. No, no customer. Well, We're alone. Yet. And there will, no one come in now. But he watched what you did with the money, right? And you went and bought something. I think that impressed him, and then he sent you more money, and you reinvested it. Because I'll tell you a, a quick story. I dated a girl one time, and she had dated a guy previously, and he sent her 100,000 pesos, and, he, and it was a test. Ooh. And he was gonna buy her a lot, you know, a house or something like that on Sikikor. This guy's a multimillionaire. And at the end of 30 days, this young lady went through the money, 100,000 pesos. And at the end of the month, he goes, well, what do you got to show for the 100,000? And she said, well, you know, my kids needed this, and my dad needed that. And she went out and bought a phone and a gadget. And he saw that she was irresponsible with money, and that was the end of it. She actually spent her way out of getting her nice house and a nice piece of land. Oh, am I and, tested? If you're watching was, right now, let me know. That was the test. And so when you told me that yesterday, I think it was yesterday you told me that story, I thought about her, and I hadn't thought about that story in years because I dated her like three years ago. And so what this guy did was he sent you a sum of money, and you reinvested it, and he, he thought, okay, this woman's using the money properly. So you built some trust with him, and I think that's awesome. 
So. Really? Yeah. Wait, yeah. if you're watching me right now, message me. Yeah, so. <laughs> I'm being nosy. I Here share. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So yeah, I guess I'm um, I tested. I guess I pass. Yeah, I think so. I think so. I think so. Now, now I need to be very careful. Yeah. So what can people expect to see when they look at your channel? Oh well, what they can see is what they can get. Yeah, I don't what think is bullshit. It? I mean, are you out there fishing in the boat yourself? Or yeah, I do you... uh, fishing and sometimes I do live streaming in the ocean. I go wow. fishing just to show them, you know, on live okay. how the process. And now you said if me and May come out there, we get to go fishing with you, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So there's you my both invite. You both are invited. I'm gonna give you a tour there. Great. Can you build a golf course out there too? What? No, no, no. Oi, <laughs> hello. It's uh, rolling. Ooh. All right, so we're going to wrap it up. We're at 20 minutes or something like that. Yes. Uh, is there anything special you want to tell my viewers? Since you're my last person that I'm going to interview. And promote oh, for. yeah, I'm flattered. Thank so, you so much, yeah, Paul. Welcome. Thank you so much. So what's your message for the day here? Uh, what is my what message? Are your words of wisdom. <laughs> I didn't world? prepare this one. Okay. Can you no. say something really stupid? Well, what? <laughs> what? What? Oi. So well. What do you want to tell the folks? You got 30 seconds. So um, one, two, three, four. <laughs> I don't know. You don't know. I'm What's just, the name of your channel? Again? Yeah, it's uh, Rainalyn Hainga, guys. So you guys can check it out if you want. If you like it, subscribe. If not, it's okay as well. So, and I don't take bullshit. So prepare. <laughs> if you uh, join my live, maybe, you know, oh, yeah, you're going to love stuff. it. stuff. Like she goes to the. She, she, um, well, I'll let you guys find out when you watch yes. the live. That's, so, that's yeah, a yeah. whole new experience. Yes. You guys are welcome to join my live, my vlog, and yeah. Okay. What can I say? Well, thanks for stopping by. Yeah, thank uh, you so much, Paul. Yeah, thank you so much. Everybody. And um, I will talk to you crazy people later. Yes. Bye-bye. And thank you.